A few months ago, we visited Poopsy Slime. It was crappy. And then we explored it again. And it was still a pile of excrement. But today, my little greens, Salty Crafter brings to you Poopsy Slime Sparkly Critters. Hey Greens, so many of you have been tagging me on Twitter because Poopsy Slime has a new product. Poopsy Sparkly cr cr Critters. Sparkly Critters. Wow. So I did some research and it turns out that this product is a craft kit to make slime and there's a toy that can either poop the slime or spit it. I'm okay with weird toys, but why do toys have to be vulgar and gross? Hmm? Someone explain it to me, please. I need to learn. For those of you who don't remember, the last time we did Poopsie Slime, it was really crappy. It really was the worst slime that you could ever make because it was either extremely stiff or watery as heck. So with this new product, I am, I am very, very excited because nothing makes me happier than being salty. Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. I know many of you have been wanting to start your own business. If that's the case, make it with Squarespace. And get 10% off of your first Squarespace order with the offer code NERDYCRAFTER. Information description box below. So without further delay, let's see what we get inside. Actually, wait, wait, before we open it, as I mentioned, each one of these has a toy and a slime kit. It's not the cheapest at about $20 Canadian, and I've seen it in the US for about $15. So it is competing with real craft kits. Keep that in mind. All right, so first things first, this has not changed. Their packaging is absolutely adorable. Christine would be proud. It is very hollow themed. So the first thing we need to do is open it here and then discover what kind of slime I guess we're getting. Although I feel the outside of this box explains a lot less than their previous stuff. All right, let's take a quick look at the commercial for the quality of slime we're supposed to get. I did look at the instructions there because I don't want you grain saying or some of you trolls. But Jinky, you're doing it wrong and it's supposed to be less water or you're supposed to... No, no. So the quality of slime is supposed to be extremely stretchy, a little droopy because even when she's pulling it, she kind of like felt like she was holding on to it so it doesn't fall. I'm expecting stretchy slime. All right, so it's supposed to be a turnaround kind of compartment, even though the top, no, it doesn't top. The outside of her box shows either spit or poo, the actual word. It's a slime spitting or slime pooping. Whereas mine just has rainbows. So my guess is they may have gotten complaints. I don't know. All right, that's enough delay. And let's open and see what we get. Help me out here. All right, so we have unicorn, magic, and shimmer. First compartment. What do we get? I think this is the spoon, probably. No, okay. Ooh, that is, again, the packaging is adorable. Their themes of like sodas and junk food are always spot on. The problem comes from the product. So our sealable bag is a Pupitos. Play on Doritos. Let me get the spoon with it right away. That is really cute. Again, their themes, spot on. Now we twist. I think this is the syringe in which we can fill the water up. So you don't tell me I'm measuring it all wrong. Yep. And the theme for this one is Farta in uh, Pui Pineapple. So we're supposed to fill this up with water. And it goes all the way like this. And then, this is the instructions. I'll read it later. And this is supposed to be our critter. I have to admit, I really like the rotating theme. This is, it's pretty cute. All right, so according to their guide, it seems that we probably got the monkey, the monkey corn. Otherwise, we could have gotten any of these other characters. All right, little monkey. Yup. There we go. Oh, that is a weird, that is a weird texture. Okay, so it does have a little bit of movement, so you can move the arms and the legs a little bit. Didn't expect that. The tail knots. So oh, oh, oh. So it seems like we're gonna have to put our syringe up this toy's butt. Part of me feels very uncomfortable right now. But before I get uncomfortable, let's look at the toy. The details are absolutely gorgeous. The eyelashes are very soft. And it is made from a soft kind of vinyl, I believe. A soft plastic or vinyl. Are me good greens? I read the instructions. Luckily, we don't have to put the syringe in the toy's bottom. So what we're supposed to do is fill this up with water, put it in the mouth, close the mouth, 
and then shake it, they say no more than one minute. So we're gonna put a timer on and you're gonna see the shake it. And then it, we should squeeze it so that it poops the slime. So the slime powder is on the inside of the toy. Pretty good idea. All right, we need to remove pacifier, put this all the way in and do the squeezing. So there you go. So, so you can see what I'm doing. That's a lot of water. Oh my God. Okay, they said it's okay, it's gonna leak. That's a lot of water. Look at that. Oh, man. Oh, no, no. Look at that. That's a lot of water. I don't think it can take that much water, but they said to put the whole thing. So it is, it is pretty full. And let's shake it for one whole minute. Oh, my God. What a mess. I'm going to put my timer. You grains are going to see the timer. All right, now for the moment of truth, let's bring you where the action is from. Lift the lift the tail, and I think we're supposed to squeeze the head. I don't know, but let's do it. Let me get. Where am I supposed to squeeze? I hear liquid in there, but oh, gross! In the commercial, look again at the amount of slime that she has, is nowhere near this amount. I mean, look at that. Granted, quite a bit of water did fall, but that's why I have a second one. So we're supposed to let this sit for about 20 minutes, so I'm gonna put it aside. So here we are 20 minutes later for the first one. We did lose quite a bit of water, so I think it's normal that we have a really poopy consistency. But what this ultimately shows is that this kit does not excuse any mistake whatsoever, which means that for $20, you get one shot and one shot only at making a supposedly slime from a slime kit. Even though it does have cute toys, the gimmick really is the slime. So this is the slime we're getting. Not quite the slime, overactivated most likely, and it's pretty gross. Let's put the magic and the shimmer. The shimmer is pretty, the glitter is pretty, but the slime... IN THE TRASH! Let's find out what the second box has. I'm hoping this time we get a, a spitting toy in this mystery surprise box. Surprise box, mystery box, same thing. Because then we'll see how well the toy receives the water. Maybe there's a difference in where, in where the slime comes out. Alright. And I would be very upset if I got the same toy twice because this is 20 bucks which means I would have spent $40 plus tax on the same toy. All right, so again, we get Unicorn Magic and Unicorn Shimmer, which means that we don't get anything special edition. And our spoon is either going to be gold or silver. Oh no, that's not it. Okay, this is the container. And the theme is Fartitos. Pretty cute for a gross theme, but cute. Golden spoon. This here's the syringe. Gosh, I love this packaging. Let me get. The syringe is in the theme of seven poop out. Poop out. So yeah, that's. I think that's what they were going for. Still pretty cute. Instructions, which I've already read. And now the toy. So I'm not going to give myself any kind of spoilers. That's the word I was looking for. So based on the different syringe, this should be a different character. And we get... Another pooping one. So again, the sculpt on this toy is really adorable. I love the depth in the eyes. The eyelashes are pretty soft. But here we go again with the poop theme. I really wanted it to spit. I know it's a mystery box and all, but I feel like it would be really interesting if they could put on the package either the poop or spit and still keep it a mystery within that theme. Because, I mean, I got, I spent $40 on two of the same concepts. I know the toy is cute, but, you know, I want a spitting one. All right, so for this time, we're actually going to go in much, much, much more slowly because, you know, we had water, water, water. So we're pushing it all the way in, and it says to tilt it lightly, as I did, and we're gonna go in very slowly. All right, just to be clear, hang on, let's shake it for one minute now. Whew, 
that was that was quite quite the workout I got muscles of steel. All right, so let's let's poop this slime out. I feel like this time we should have a better clearance so that you could see exactly what's happening once you squeeze the head. That is so gross. Okay, the head doesn't want to come back up. Come on, head. Oh, let me remove this. There we go. All right, now we wait 20 minutes. And I still don't think that this here is going to give us the same amount of slime that was in the commercial. Let's see that again. <gasps> yeah, no, just no. All right, so here we are 20 minutes later for slime number two. And the texture is questionable, very questionable. Okay, so it's pretty wet, very, very wet. So let's add our shimmer and magic. All right, let's, let's go back again to the commercial. If you look at Chloe, I believe that's her name. Hi guys, it's Chloe. We can see that the slime she's holding looks like a handful. Now look, look at me, look at me. In no way is this anywhere near a handful. But at least the difference between this slime and the first one is that this one is a lot more slimy and less poopy. So the texture is really nice and it does look pretty decent. One of the other downgrades that I found is that compared to their other kit, they had scents that went with their slime. This kit, no, no scent for you. So really, you're paying 20 bucks to make this much slime. This, 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 this much, this much. And of course, I really do appreciate the sealable bag, so you can put your slime in there. There you go. So if you do decide to get this kit, you have to be really careful because you can get anything from this kind of slime to this. So mistakes, don't do them. All right, let's go over there and have a chat. Time to find out. Is this kit worth it? If you're new to Salty Crafter, we're not made of slime. We're not made of sugar. We are made of salt. And I like to think of us as salt crystals. So because of that, we will be starting with cons. And if there are any pros, we'll do that at the end because we thrive on, on the salt. The first con is that this costs $20 Canadian or $15 US. So for what it is, it's pretty pricey. The amount of slime we're getting is so different than the amount of slime that we're seeing in the commercial. So that for me is a pretty bad deceptive commercial. It's, it's, it's just deceptive. When it comes to playability, you're looking at about five minutes maximum. That includes unpacking it and putting it into the syringe and shaking it for a whole minute. Of course, you can argue you can play with slime, but that depends on other factors, which we'll get to. I don't think this is a craft kit. Even though we are making our own slime, I feel like the value of this is in the toy and the theme itself. So it has more value as a surprise box than a crafting slime kit. There are no room for mistakes. None. If you make a mistake and you try to overcompensate or you think that you didn't make a mistake and maybe you did, you get a one-time shot. I think what could remedy this is maybe putting some powders on the side and telling you to shake it separately. That could help just in case because I'm pretty sure most of their cost goes into the toy, not the slime and the powders. So for $20, that, that's a pretty expensive mistake. The syringe idea is really gimmicky. Yes, it's cute, but it is pretty wasteful. Once you use it once, that's that's pretty much it, unless you have other uses for a water syringe. So we're, we're essentially just wasting big amounts of plastic. For the price, it still is a really tiny amount of slime. It's There's no way going around this. You're really not getting much. So yes, it does relate to con number two because of the deception, but the end result really is tiny. Keeping on with the theme of useless, that spoon. Again, I know it's cute, but it just seems so useless. You're, you're holding slime with your hands. You're shaking it into the toy. What do I need a spoon for? This kit is competing with bigger kits that you have way more playability and way more slime. I feel like if it were $10, they could remove the spoon, they could remove the syringe and add a pipette instead. It would feel like it would be a little more worth it because then you're getting a toy and possibly a mini activity for 10 bucks, as opposed to double the price where you're getting a toy, a bunch of useless stuff, and very little slime. All right, on to the pros because believe it or not, compared to the previous version of this, it does have quite a bit of pros. The packaging is absolutely adorable. I love everything from the hollow to the iridescent, so bonus for that. 
I love me a good pun, so the fact that it's pretty consistent with the themes, I, I say yes to that. The toys are adorable. I mean, the whole point of a mystery box for toys is to have fun toys. And I feel like if it weren't for the slime factor, they would have nailed this kit without the useless plastic, of course, and, and the awkward pooing. But I'm not gonna put that in a pro nor a con, because that depends on your humor, and that's that's okay. Sealable bags. Er, me. Good. They are absolutely adorable. Uh, heck, I would buy a set of just sealable bags with these puns on it. So that, that really really tickled my salt. And last but most importantly, when you get it right and you don't make any mistakes, because Jackie, you did it wrong the first time. I know, I know, that's why I got two. They actually fixed the slime recipe. It's not goopy, it's not stiff. So when it's done right, which honestly wasn't, wasn't that complicated, just don't lose your water, it was pretty pleasant to the touch and pretty stretchy, even though it's, it's very, very little. The recipe was fixed. So keeping in mind of the fact that it is $20 and the amount of activity we're getting for that price, I personally would not recommend this kit. And so I would give it a four and a half on 10 dorks. However, hang on, hang on, before you get upset. If it were $10, so if you can see it on sale or on clearance anywhere, let's say it were, let's, let's pretend $10. I would hypothetically give it seven and a half on 10 dorks because it is cute and there's a lot of effort that went into the theme. But looking at it from a craft kit standpoint, stand, stand, point, point, point of view, English, number one. So I think the price makes a huge difference in how I would rate it. So if you do see it on clearance for about 10 bucks, go for it, it's cute. But if you're going to go for $20, mm, there are better things you can get for that price in terms of crafting, of course. All right, Grains, I have an announcement to make. Recently, I've become eligible, eligible to have YouTube memberships. Think of YouTube memberships as Patreon, but on YouTube. It's completely different from YouTube Premium. But before you worry, my videos and my live streams will not change. They will stay free, both videos a week, and the live streams that I make public will stay public. So for those of you who cannot afford a membership, do not worry, this channel will not change. But for those of you who are interested in memberships, feel free to click that little button that says join. It will not register you. What it's going to do is going to give a pop-up and you can see the different perks for the different levels that you can have if you can become a supporter. And if you can't become a supporter this way, watching, liking, commenting the video is epic in so many ways. So you don't have to worry about that at all. Please don't. My channel will not change. The amount of content I make for you will not change. It's just you get little tiny, tiny little perks. Like for the first tier at $1.99, you get access to emojis that were drawn by Sarah. So I commissioned Sarah to do some emojis for me, which are absolutely adorable. I'll leave her information in the description box below. In addition to custom emojis you can use in live streams, you also get tiny badges next to your name to show how long you've been a supporter. Thank you, Nightshade Poison, for this idea. And for the second tier, which is the Salt Shaker tier, you get access to the badges, emojis, and private live streams, in addition to the public live stream. So those public live streams won't change. I'll just have extra little ones on the side. And then there's the sea salt tier for those of you who are interested in shoutouts in addition to all the other perks. So if you're curious, make sure you check out that little button. Just a small little warning. For some reason, I found that if you join as a member, it might actually remove you from notifications. So make sure that you put notifications back on if you had them already. And if you didn't, now's a good time. And if not, I appreciate you watching regardless. Please don't think that this is like a premium membership and without it, you're missing out. It's just tiny things. That won't make a difference for those of you who are watching either way. But until memberships become a, a thing, we have a sponsor. Today's sponsor is Squarespace. So if you're ready to start a new business, why not make it with Squarespace? If you're not sure what it is, it's an all-in-one platform that helps you build gorgeous websites. So those of you who are crafty and a little annoyed that some websites take way too much commission for your own artwork, this could be a great option. And if you don't have that much experience building a website, do not worry about it. When I was building my website, I wasn't sure where to start. So I looked at their amazing templates, which made it easier for me to visualize where I could put what. And you could also preview it on a laptop, phone, or tablet. So you know exactly what your future customers could see. And if ever you get stuck, kind of like me, they have 24 seven customer service and it is award winning. So you're in good hands. So from marketing tools, analytics to online stores, it's easy to set up or transfer your domain on Squarespace. And so thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. More crap kits. 
Go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash nerdycrafter and add the code nerdycrafter at checkout to save 10% off of your first purchase of a website or a domain. Thank you so much for watching my little grains. If you want to watch a salty video, cause this one, eh, in terms of saltiness, make sure you check it up here if you really want to feel the salt in your veins. And if you want to watch a crafty video that's sometimes the salt appears in there, not all the time, but sometimes, you could check it out down here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.